<laughs> that's an osprey. That's an osprey being chased by an eagle. Oh, can I go? <laughs> I know that sound anywhere. <laughs> My name is Christopher Rao, and I specialize in photographing birds in flight and all forms of avian activity. Today we'll mostly be shooting in Old Sabre, Connecticut. Along the way, I'll be sharing some great tips to help you capture distinctive bird images. One thing that's really important is spending a lot of time outside. Beautiful spot though, huh? Today I'm shooting with the Tamron 150 to 600 millimeter G2 lens and the 1.4X teleconverter. Sometimes 600 millimeters just isn't enough, and Tamron is designed a 1.4X teleconverter. It allows your maximum focal length to be around 850 millimeters. Right now I'm photographing a great blue heron. We have some beautiful morning light. So ideally the sun will be behind you and the birds will be in front of you. So a shot like this, what you want to do is get really low perspective and try to shoot it at eye level. Now one of the great new features about this lens, since I spend so much time near the water and mud, is the new fluorine coating, which repels water and makes it much easier to clean. You may have noticed that I do not shoot with a tripod. I'm very, very mobile. I'm always on the go and on any given day I'll hit eight to ten different spots. Uh, what I like to do when I'm shooting birds in flight is shoot at one two thousandths of a second. Um, I generally shoot in manual mode with auto ISO. Alright, he knows we're here. Now one thing I also always do is whenever I get in my car I check my settings to make sure I'm actually in manual mode at two thousandths of a second. So if I'm driving along, I can jump out of my car and grab a shot without thinking about settings. These are European starlings, which are actually forming a murmuration. One of the things that's very important for success is observing how the birds behave on a daily basis. So in this particular image, I actually used a slower shutter speed around a thousandth of a second because I wanted to stop down to get more of the birds in focus. And I found with the panning mode in VC mode 2 that it helped really keep all the birds sharp as they flew. Lens is incredible. So at the last possible second. If it's him, we'll know right away. George, we've been looking for you. This is a hawk I've been photographing this past year and a half. So with the wind coming in behind me, he should take off directly at me. And he has both feet down, so he's actively ready to go. One of the reasons I can get consistently great images is because I get to shoot every day. The more you practice, the better you'll get it at birds in flight. I'm out here 30 hours a week, and I practice all the time. It's on. <laughs> You're photographing birds like this waiting for them to take flight, is don't underestimate how large their wings are. A lot of times you'll be wanting to zoom in at 600 millimeters and get them nice and tight sitting there, but as soon as they take off, the wings are going to be out of the frame. What I like to do is I use the flex zoom lock and I'll set it to 500 millimeters instead of 600, which will give you a little extra room where you can crop and make sure you keep those wing tips within the frame. This lens is amazing. Right now this hawk is actively hunting, so he has both talons on the branch so he can go at any second. You may think that you have to travel the world to find all these great birds. The truth of the matter is you can find so many of these birds in your own backyard. <laughs>